Yo, what up guys, Ross Kalps here, and in this video, I'm reviewing Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. All right, so this might just be the best f sequel of the franchise, said no one. All right, so basically this movie takes place two years after the events of Afterlife. They're back in New York, they got the firehouse back, and now there's a new threat. You know, it's this like metal ball that contains some kind of entity, and they got to try and make sure it doesn't get out. All right, so I just spent the last few days watching the original Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and then I watched Ghostbusters Afterlife because I didn't grow up watching them. I didn't really care much for them. I knew about them, but I just, I don't know. It wasn't interesting to me. And so I spent the last few days watching them in preparation for this movie. And so after watching them, I kind of have a grasp of the characters and the concept and everything that happens and what they do. And so taking all that into account, I want to say that Ghostbusters Frozen Empire... It's probably the worst out of the four that I just mentioned. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad movie or a bad Ghostbusters movie, but I think what they do is they... I think the script is what lacks. You know, they spend a lot of time with Phoebe and this ghost, like her relationship with this ghost girl, and it's kind of like she has a crush on her or something, and they kind of spend a lot of time into that, and it puts like some of the other things to the side. Along with that, they take their time. If you watch the trailer, you see like the water freezing and the ice coming out, and the whole New York being frozen and everything. And that's pretty cool. But they take their time to get to that. It's literally towards the end of the movie where that happens. So the whole beginning of the movie, first half, is like filler and random stuff, I feel like. Not saying it's bad, but I felt they should have done more to keep you satisfied. Whether it was more dialogue from the original cast or chemistry or scenes with them. I just felt like they should have done something to fill that time up better. A lot of talking about it and, you know, going back and forth between one thing and another. And after watching the Ghostbuster movies myself, I kind of know what the story consists of. It starts with them either solving or, like, catching a ghost. And then from there, like, the police want them to stop and they have to stop. To then the police want them to help. It kind of had the same formula along with the weak villain in about every single one of them. You know, at the end, they just vanquish the villain like that and then happily ever after. It's kind of the same formula that you're getting. I mean, to be fair, the villain in this one did look very menacing and it could have done some damage. But they just take too long to get him involved. And then they don't even show really much what happens with the city. That Just that it's frozen. They don't show like the collateral damage that happens or what happens to the civilians or the rest of the city. Like They don't show any of that. They just... The villain comes, takes his sweet time getting there, by the way, because there's this, like, scene montage where they're fixing their proton packs or whatever. Yeah, he could have got there quicker, but took his time. But, no, I mean, I feel like this movie suffers from a script. It was nice having the original characters back, but I just, they didn't really have a lot to do. Um, at least for Bill Murray. I thought he'd be in the movie more. He was only in there a little in the middle and then a little at the end. And I just wish we could have seen all three of them together more. But, I mean, the returning cast did good. I liked the visuals. I liked the villain. I guess the look of it and stuff. And the idea that it had, like, frozen powers. And then, like, the other Ghostbusters, the comedy was good. You had Kumal Nanjiani, who was a funny addition. I mean, his character was kind of, eh. But overall, I just think the script, along with the villain, and it's kind of this the ghost and Phoebe's, like, subplot, and her being too young to be a Ghostbuster... I don't know, like I said, I'm not a really a diehard fan, so I'm not really attached to these characters. But I think what they did in the first two and then Afterlife was better than this one. And with that being said, I think I'm going to give this a salty popcorn award. If you enjoyed the first few, I think you'll like this one for the most part. You'll, you'll like seeing the characters come back. But anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you all for watching another movie review. And comment down below if you saw this movie and what your thoughts were on it. And yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.